Kamex was, was, Kamex was doing so many, um, Kamex was doing so many, like, specific anti-nest things. Yes. Um, Three, two, killing him so early, one, I feel go. like we're just gonna see this. Um, yeah, and that's what we're gonna yeah. start this with here in game Loser's one. This is finals, and yep. I mean, this music. <laughs> it's so hard for <laughs> me to take this it. game seriously sometimes when it's like uh, supposed to be a hype set, but there's like nah, this joyful it. Mario music playing in the background. Nah, this is what it's all about, baby. This is Smash Ultimate at its essence right here. We got two. These, neither of these are Nintendo characters. What's going on? Yep, we got two of the best characters in the game. Duking it out in a yeah. truly some people, un uncontroversial fashion. Some people would say <laughs> the two best characters in the game. Perhaps. Um, you know, obviously your opinion will vary on that, but Sonic is known for being, being good. One of, well, yes. Um, <laughs> but Sonic is known for being one of the characters that does the best into Steve. Yep. Um, maybe some people, I mean, I know I keep on saying some people, but I, you know, I don't want to. Streets are saying. Yeah, the, you know, the, the birds are saying that <laughs> Sonic is also one of the only characters that might even have a possibly winning matchup in Steve. Yeah. Um, but Syrup, you know, he already has his oh. diamond. He's already slamming these anvils. I mean, he only, he's only taking 25%. At Listen, Streets are saying that Sonic does well against Steve. Syrup right now saying Streets need to shut up because... <laughs> Syrup doesn't care about your Streets. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Because here in Jersey... Syrup is that guy, and he's gonna take that first stock very Ooh, efficiently. That was a cute, like, Elytra cancel off the, yeah. the, the dead block. That was really interesting. Three high wall, you know the vibes. We're just gonna camp, we're just yeah. gonna mine. They have a stock. You can finish the I mean, I like. know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> there's, there's just like, I mean, Syrup's already mined a, a third diamond. Can we talk about this? It hasn't even been two minutes this dude like and you know you know <laughs> like i like you know like syrup i feel like this like th this music kind of feels in line to me with like <laughs> how syrup's game has gone so far it's just yeah. been easy it's been joyous he's on route Low to goofy. a three stock against yeah. hammix the guy who sent him to losers i know it has been an absolute bloodbath so far just it's been all syrup and even with syrup being low on resources it does not matter at all he has the diamond pickaxe he has you know the super strong attacks he has the gold boosted minecart as well yeah i feel like it cannot be going any better something that people at least from what i've heard people discuss about steve a lot of people don't talk about how the diamond is just as powerful for hitting harder you also gain resources so much more quickly yeah. when you mine with the diamond um, yeah the snowball effect with this character is just insane and syrup is putting this on full display i love dlc i don't know <laughs> that, that sounded pretty sarcastic i'll, I'll that listen, make, make a, what you will of it that was a crazy setup there by syrup oh my goodness a uh, forward smash attack from yeah. kamex oh! <laughs> Let me finish my sentence, man. Come on. <laughs> okay, you know what? Uh, a JV three stock for syrup. Who even? Dude, who even cares, man? I mean, this guy. <laughs> I'm losing my mind dude, right like, now. This has been the craziest past ten minutes. Like let Camix, like let Camix, like enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is uh, that is a, that's one of those uh, that's one of those all timer oh, that's one of those all timer like that's a uh, crazy one. I bear, hey, I bear that's gonna go that's gonna go in some clip compilation somewhere. Oh my goodness! Um, for like hey, goofy shout, moments. Shout shout Yeet Smash, shout all of them, etc. 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 Does GR Smash still make videos? I don't even know. We wish, man. Rest in peace. Oh all my right. goodness. So we're on Battlefield. Yeah. Um, Slightly bigger stage, top platform, uh, bigger ceiling, yep. et cetera. I feel like, you know, I need to stop saying et cetera. Excuse me. Yeah. Um, we, you know, we talked about, you know, the differences between like this and small battlefield and earlier sets. And I feel like, um, I hope that this stage is good enough, is a like, big enough change for Kamex to start, you know. Yeah. I mean, it started off a bit more even, you know what I mean? Pretty. Yeah, but it's not like last game was exactly not even until Syrup, you know, took that stock. That's true. That's true. I mean, nevertheless, though, I mean. All 
right. you start off avoiding parts of that up smash i mean it's starting off pretty decently and listen you got some more hype music now yeah you got that tekken we're locked in you know what i'm saying i mean everyone loves them some tekken ost you yeah. know what i'm saying we have so. the diamond it's a minute in yep <laughs> uh oh my goodness what an edge guard though you know what they say nice back here yep nice Back air, indeed. A but high quality backwards aerial. Exactly. Even. And look oh at my this God. pressure. This is, he's he did this setup in the last set against Sola too. That double hit anvil pinch yeah. where he pins you in between the block and the ledge and the anvil will hit twice. That's so dangerous. Yeah. And now we have the diamond. It feels like even though Kamek's at the lead, it kind of feels like Syrup's in the better position now. Yeah, so many creative things you can do as Steve and Syrup really exemplifying that. I feel like if you were to show some of these interactions to a Brawl player in 2008, they would think that it's a witchcraft and wizardry just with the way that all these unorthodox setups are, you know, being taken to his you know, advantage. Watching Zane's, uh, you know, ultimate uh, poisoning. <laughs> exactly. I think he worded it best. This game just has too much magic, man. I know. I mean, that... and Steve is, uh, you know, Steve is a progenitor of this, you know, wizardry. Yeah, I mean, you've seen his reaction to playing against Sonic, though. You know that <laughs> Sonic can also kind of drive you crazy as well. So yeah, just in a different way. Sonic isn't really performing magic, though. Yeah, it's just, you know, raw, authentic, homemade degeneracy in terms yeah. of gameplay but i mean kamex does play pretty aggressively Ooh. as we see with that forward smash read right there a nice it's not like he's you know timing him out yeah a nice read on the defensive habits of syrup there you know you love to see it a diamond online here for syrup he's probably going to be looking for a classic up tilt to back air or a confirm into up smash or something like that or just some big forward smash but Kamex with an opening here, 33%. Yeah, and there comes that Battlefield platform extension, kind of showing why you want to go with that counter pick, really extending some of those combos, but running right into a you know, back air is not quite the move, yeah. although that was a, very good read That was Sarah. a beautiful, non-grounded strike in the opposite direction. <laughs> um, yep. How many of these can I pull out by the end of the night? We'll see. Either Listen, way. The, the nice back air bag goes deep. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm saying, dude. Uh, yeah. I don't even have a thesaurus open. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I will this, say. this game has become, you know, fully even again. Yeah. This is really going to be up to Kamex to apply pressure. Yeah, um, I would say commendable adaptation effort here from Kamex so far. Oh, absolutely. Really. And he really has, if there's one thing that Battlefield, I feel like has helped him a lot with, it feels like his movement around the stage has been a lot more fluid and he's yeah. felt way more comfortable, like putting himself into like specific positions. Um, yeah, it means that he's able to get up close and personal with Syrup more quickly, oh, more efficiently, go. but it might not be wow, enough. Wow, the battlefield ceiling helping out there. That's so clutch. But the Kamex DI coming in once again. That's what I'm saying. And a great recovery oh. as well with a little bit of shenanigans with that anvil physics. Syrup tried to do the, the anvil pin set up there a third time. Um, not Look quite getting this. it. We've recrafted the diamond tools that we still have the gold. Very few Kamex. resources. If Kamex doesn't find it here, this could be disastrous. And he, and he does. does. Jinx. Woo. First, etc. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was great though. I mean, that was the moment he needed to make a play, and he made the play. Yeah, man. Kamex, even in spite. I mean, we saw kind of with uh, when Beast, you know, made that comeback win against Yeast and winner semis, right? That first game dominance does not define you, right? Yeah. The ability to make the adaptation. That's why we have these best of three, best of five sets. And that's what makes these sets so hype is, you know, we see yeah. the room for growth here. And, you know, We're going back to small battle. it feels like the theme of the night is blowout games followed by close. Yeah. For it's sure. happened in almost every top eight set so far. And... Let's see if Kamex can continue the momentum or if Syrup, you know, can take advantage of having the counterpick advantage here. Back to small battlefield, a bit more stifled. It lets him really get up close and personal with Sonic, but also stifle Sonic's movement. Oh. And that minecart back here, not going to quite kill, but we're in range of another back air for killing for sure. Yeah, it's been a dominant stock so far for Syrup. Just no room to go in, but Kamex finally getting an opportunity. They are kind of capitalizing with a good amount of damage, but you're going to need a little bit more. Yeah. But getting these back airs definitely helps. 
Gamex is racking up damage at a very consistent oh. rate right now, and he hasn't been hit in a while. Yeah. Um, Almost got that hard smash, too. Wasn't even able to get punched off of it. Yeah, he eats that Minecraft, but that's okay. He's done a great job so far of evening up the percent. And, you know, as much as Kamex, like, he's getting hit by, like, some random things here and there, but he is doing a good job of positioning himself at the correct distance to, like, apply the right pressure to Syrup to make sure he doesn't oh, feel comfortable. Oh, the DBZ! And that is a classic DBZ moment. Yeah, that was absolutely huge for Kamex, being able to even things up after getting, you know, a little bit destroyed during the beginning of the game yeah, is true. definitely a big swing in the favor of him, but it's still going to be a mountain to climb in order to defeat Syrup. I used to spread misinformation to people that DBZ stood for double blast zone and not Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> um, Honestly, I could. To I anyone, could, I, I feel like to, I could. I would believe that. To anyone I said that to, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, I, I've turned over a new leaf. Okay. Oh my goodness. Good forward smash. Enough about me. Let's get back to this. Set. Yeah, I mean, again, we're just getting so back and forth, and these missed smash attacks are leading to more smash attacks and some real back and forth action. No legend invincibility here, but you do have the stalling ability that. We have a break of the he action has. here. Ooh, no oh, no tech. He wasn't ready. Yeah, very bold move there by Kamex, but even able to outrun the mind <laughs> Dude, card. That, wow. <laughs> that's so goofy looking. Oh. All right. That but was misses a... the back air and gets hit with another back air. Yeah, that was face. a pristine, negatively directed area. <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> here we go, though. Let's see if we can get a ledge trap here. You have him at 150. Let's see if they can uh, yeah. close this out before getting hit with too much. This is looking pretty rough for Kamex. Okay, the good air dodge makes it back though. though. A good delay there too, waiting for the block to kind of run out of some durability. Yeah. But and there's a great... the big back air. Yeah, I'm out. Back air. <laughs> um, <laughs> big combo here from Syrup. We're racking up some damage. He does get the diamond crafted in time, which is a huge deal. Yeah, is a bit low on resources, but we've seen Syrup throughout this tournament make use yeah. make do with few resources really shows how good his grabbing ability is probably got yeah. a bit of that from him playing nest for so long yeah and the diamond is also a huge help in you know oh, no. pulling together these resources and that minecart wow. back air is gonna take it and chemix made a great effort there to kind of you know make up the deficit but syrup wasn't about to let that lead he had go to waste yeah and Getting that diamond, you know, Kamex was, I mean, way less than a, the the difference between Syrup getting the diamond on that last stock and not is like way less than a second. Um, really unfortunate for Kamex, but Syrup is definitely pleased as with one more game win here in Losers Finals, he will go on to winner side of Grands. And I think more importantly for him, you know, you don't want to feel like. You don't want to go to like a tournament, lose to somebody early, and not beat them again before you win the tournament, right? Oh, for sure. He definitely is hungry for this run back, as you can tell by this immediate starting combo. But here we have the counter pick to Town and Sade. I feel like, I mean, Town City is traditionally a very good Stonic stage, so it's no surprise to see him come out here. Let's see if they can really capitalize on this counter pick, though. Yeah. Um. Kamek so far is doing a great job of just utilizing Sonic's, pre Sonic's present on multiple different transformations in Town City. But oh that is... Massive anvil That's right just there. brutal, man. Yeah, just a huge, brutal uh, anvil right there. But Kamek's down but not out right now. But you're going to be quite down if you keep getting hit by these up tilt combos. Yeah, I mean, 48, 72. 72 with the boosted Why does my card do so much damage, man? It's ridiculous, but Syrup is most certainly not complaining right now. Oh, yeah. He has a massive lead. All right, Diamond then. Minute Might be the first set forward. of this top eight stream to not go to a final game if he keeps us up. This is a true statement. You're true. Right now. I didn't even realize that every set had gone to a final game, but exactly because you know the. That's the, why I'm kind <laughs> of pulling for a game five right now. I'm not gonna lie, but nevertheless, Listen, man, it's admirable to see how well CR has adapted. To be honest, set. it kind of feels. Oh, oh my goodness! It just feels like no matter what Kamek is doing right now, he can't find a way back into the driver's oh. seat. And this is almost reminiscent of game one. All roads lead to Steve back here right now. That's what I'm saying. 
It like, is a three stock lead here on Syrup. <laughs> Kamek's kind of on their last legs. Let's Steve's see if they back can pull the comeback oh. of a lifetime. That roll read was disrespectful. Yeah. Or if Syrup is going to close out with another three oh, stock. It looks man. like it's going to be another three stock. A JV three stock and a real three stock. Syrup gets his revenge on Kamex, who bows out at third place. A great showing nonetheless. I mean, he kept it close. And I mean, overall, in, in game count against Syrup today, he's three to four. So, you know, pretty close overall. But, <laughs> you know, Syrup yeah. winning in the later stage of the bracket where it matters more. Yep. And this guy is just on an unstoppable warpath through this fusion bracket. Yeah, Syrup on an absolute tear, making truly an iconic loser's run right now, just storming through everybody with that huge untackable anvil right there. I mean, even in this, you know, the second game where it felt like Kamex had really bounced back, Syrup was still very much in the game and was making adaptations on the fly. And we saw that even though he lost that second game, the adaptations he made translated later to him really coming out with a dominant game for victory. Yeah, I totally, I mean, I, I totally agree. I think that, like the set wasn't, it, it's, it's not really showing that like Kamex is uh, a bad player. It's more so just showing that Syrup has the ability to tap into that next level, right? Yeah. Where he, you know, it's Syrup proving that he is the first seed of the tournament. He is a top three player in the state. He is one of the best players yeah. in North America. Regional winner, like, what more really can we say about this guy? Yeah, truly one of the goats of New Jersey, but Kamek's really... definitely walking out the building with a lot of pride, taking him to his absolute limit. Yeah, I mean, Kamex is the only person. Okay, Kamex, well, there's a, I, and, okay, like, I'm not gonna, Grand Finals will be a good set. But there is a chance that Kamex will be the only player today who was able to beat Syrup, which potentially, if anything, is a you know, as much as this losers finals was pretty one sided. Obviously, Kamex took a game, but that was a nail biter. You know, it shows how good he is, and you know, Kamex doesn't go out to a lot of tournaments anymore. But yeah. Every